Hello everyone. Welcome to the Golden Ratio Association of Mathematics. I am Yash Bughani and I present you the solution for the fifth physics question of the day. A swimmer is trying to swim across the river. The river is 100 meters wide but 50 meters down the river from a starting point, a dangerous waterfall is threatening to drown any unsuspecting swimmers. The swimmer can swim at a speed of 1 meter per second relative to the water which we will refer to as V swimmer. The current pushes him towards the waterfall at a speed v water as depicted by the arrows in the figure. All right then now moving on to the question. So the question is divided into four sub parts. The first part says that the swimmer starts out aiming himself straight for the other shore. How long will it take him to reach there? The second part. If he aims straight for the other shore, how fast can the current be if he is to survive the swim? The third part. As viewed from the shore, what is the total speed of the swimmer? And for the final part The current in the river turns out to be 0.8 meters per second which is too strong for the swimmer to make the other shore if just aiming straight there the swimmer changes strategy and decides to swim at an angle so that part of his efforts cancels the current as a result he moves straight across the river towards the other shore as viewed from the shore how long will it take him to reach there now now before i proceed to giving you the solution i would strongly advise you to take a moment and try to solve this question for yourself if you haven't participated already All right then moving on to the solution for the first part we know that velocity is the change in displacement in a given amount of time we know that the displacement is 100 meters and the velocity of the swimmer is 1 meters per second and from that we can figure out that the time interval will be 100 seconds which is the answer to the first part of the question moving on to the second part now we know that the time interval is 100 seconds if we look at the other dimension we need to know the maximum velocity of the current if the swimmer is to survive the swim by going straight across by using the same relation except this time the displacement would be 50 meters in the direction along with the current performing the same operation on these new values we get the velocity to be 0.5 meters per second and that is the answer to the second part moving on to the third part of the question we need to find the net speed of the swimmer as viewed from the shore we know that his speed across the current is 1 meters per second and in the direction of the current it is 0.5 meters per second now using the vector addition properties and pythagorean theorem we know that the square of the magnitude of the resultant speed would be equal to the sum of the squares of the magnitudes of the initial component performing this computation we find out that the value is the square root of 1.25 which can be estimated to 1.1 meters per second which is the answer for the third part and now finally moving to the last part which is slightly more challenging the swimmer has decided to change his strategy and move at an angle to the shore his velocity is still 1 meters per second but the component of that that is in the direction opposite to the current would be cancelled out by the current and hence the net velocity would be across the current Now if we use similar vector properties and the Pythagorean theorem we know that the square of the magnitude of the net velocity and the square of the magnitude of the of the velocity of the current is equal to the square of the magnitude of the velocity of the swimmer and from this we can find out that the net velocity would be 0.6 meters per second which is in fact a famous Pythagorean triplet 6 8 and 10 So we know that the displacement is 100 meters, the velocity is 0.6 meters, and from that we can calculate that the time would be 167 seconds. And with that, we have reached the end of this session. For more such questions, ensure you join us in our Discord server, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you have notifications turned on. Comment down below what you thought and any feedback you might have relevant to this session. Thank you. Stay tuned.